Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Kirsten and this time instead of a monthly book haul I am doing a classics book haul and these are the classics that I've collected over the course of about 2-3 months now and it's something that I've been wanting to read more of, it's one of my goals for the year to read more classics so of course I had to get hold of some. Let's just get straight to the books. So first up in this collection we have this collection of classics. It's an amazing bargain. I got it in Costco for £15 instead of £60. So I was so happy when I saw this. And this one is The Great Mysteries, which I am so excited to read. We have eight books plus a journal. So let me just show you these. So as I said, you do get a journal in this and I love this journal. It's lined pages, but in it we also have quotes from some of the books as well as drawings as well which I loved so I'm in love with this journal and the books that you get with it are The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes and The Return of Sherlock Holmes all by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle which I was really happy with because I desperately wanted to get some more Sherlock Holmes books. I've only read Hound of the Baskervilles but I loved it and I was like you can't have some classics without Sherlock Holmes like he's just such an amazing in classic I needed to have more of those original detective stories and so I was very happy to see that this collection contained three of the Sherlock Holmes books we also have Moonstone by Wilkie Collins this is a book admittedly I have never heard of before I don't know what it's about apart from the fact that it's a mystery because it's within this mystery collection but I haven't actually heard of this at all so if this is one that you've read do let me know because I have no idea what to expect. Then we have the classic tales of detection and adventure by Edgar Allan Poe and this is a very small short story collection. I haven't read anything by Edgar Allan Poe before but I'm super excited to see what his writing style is like and with some little short stories can't really go wrong. We also have Crime and Punishment by Fedor Dostoevsky. I hope I've pronounced that correctly and this is a book that I have heard quite a lot about. I don't know what the story is about but I know that it is meant to be one of the greats in classic literature so I'm very excited to give this one a try and honestly aren't all these covers amazing? I think they are brilliant. Then we have a book, the only book in this collection that I have Read, and that's The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is a book that I really do enjoy. I thought it's a really interesting look into vanity and pride and what we would do, the extremes, to keep our youth. It's really interesting and it's a really unique look into the debauchery that can come about because of mankind. Like it's, it's a really interesting look into society so I really enjoyed this book and I'm more than happy to have a second edition of it and again you can't get this edition anywhere else it only comes as part of this set to so be able to have a cover like this in something that I know I won't be able to pick up anywhere else I genuinely don't mind having two editions of this. Then we have a book that I am really excited to get to and hope I get to soon and that is Phantom of the Opera and this is a book which I know the story of but I don't think I've ever read the actual classic. I have seen the movie, I have read adaptations of this book but I haven't actually read the classic or if I have it was such a long time ago that I don't remember much of it and this is a book that I yeah like I said I can't wait to read. I've always been intrigued by this story and it's one of those books which I feel you can't help but feel for the Phantom, even though what he's doing is wrong, you still can't help but feel for him as a character. So I'm really, really excited to read the actual classic of this. Phantom of the Opera is one of the plays that I really want to see in theatre. I think it would be amazing, but that's a tangent, that's not to do with the book. But I am very much excited to get hold of this and yes, very, very happy to add this to my classics collection. And while I was in Costco, I also found the Great Horror and Fantasy Collection, again for £15 instead of £60. So I have saved a stupid amount of money on all of these classics. And again, it comes with a journal. The journal is set up the same we have wind pages, quotes and artwork. So I'm very excited. I don't know what I'm going to use these journals for but I absolutely love them. And in this we have a book that I have read and that is Dracula by Bram Stoker. You cannot have a classic horror collection without Dracula. Like it is the most amazing horror classic. I love it so much. I love the story of Dracula and 
it's one of those books where it's not for everyone, especially because the formatting is a diary format, it can be a little bit difficult to get into and read, but I love it and honestly I feel for Dracula in this, I know he is the villain in it and I know that what he does isn't good but you can't help but feel for him, he's been chased everywhere he goes and I just, I don't know what it is but I really do feel for him and I love Dracula, like I said it's one of my favourite horror classics, I love any retailing I can get hold of it so having again another edition that I can't get anywhere else, I am 100% okay with this. We also have The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, again this is a book that I have not read, I have heard a little bit about this, I think it's more of like a ghost horror story but again I don't know too much about it, it's not a book that I've read before so very intrigued to see what this is going to be about and again covers are just stunning. We also have the Lovecraft Compendium by H.P. Lovecraft. I have read one of the stories within this and that's The Haunted in the Dark and I really enjoyed it. I listened to it on audiobook and I did actually want to pick it up. So I'm very pleased that this came within it because it means that I don't have to go and buy it again. And it also means I get all the other stories that go with this. And this is just a mixture of short stories that are more horror stories than anything else. And I'm excited for it. I didn't think H.P. Lovecraft was gonna be the sort of author that I would enjoy, especially because I know his stuff can tend towards more of the sci-fi element as well but I really did enjoy Haunter of the Dark, I thought it was brilliantly written, it's a really accessible classic as well so if you're interested in classics and you're not sure where to start give this a try actually because I think his writing is very accessible and they're short stories so they really don't take up much time. We also have Classic Tales of Horror by Edgar Allan Poe, again Edgar Allan Poe is an author that I've been wanting to read some of his works of, I'm very excited to see what this one brings and it'll be really interesting to compare both the mystery one and the horror ones and just see what one I prefer. So looking forward to this, also this cat is proper creepy, I love it. Then we have another book which I have no idea what it's about, I hadn't heard of it before this set and that is Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Kafka? Again sorry I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. I don't know what this is about, all I can presume from the image is that he somehow turns into a bug from the name of the book as well, I don't know. What I do know is that it's very short so it's one that I can easily read, I'm intrigued to see what it's going to be about and again I love reading classics especially because retellings are one of my favourites to read so I am making an effort that any retelling I read I must read the original classic of it so it'll be interesting to see if I have read anything similar to this or just what it's about, I've got no idea. Then we have Turn Off the Screw by Henry James and this is a book that I've been interested in getting and I was pleasantly surprised it was part of this set. I had actually already bought an edition of this before I got this set but again I don't mind having to, especially as I've said several times now, all of these covers are editions that you can't get anywhere else, they're not for individual resale so unless you buy this set you can't get these covers so I was very happy again to have two. I love, I think in books I like collecting multiple editions of books but mainly classics. I don't know why but there's just something about classics where I'm like I want every cover possible from them and I think it's just because they are our classics and I can appreciate the Brighton style so much. That's a tangent. Anyway, Turn of the Screw, I just know it's a horror story and I think it's where we have someone coming in to look after these two children and then things start going really wrong from there. I know there has been multiple adaptations of this book and I know there's also been a retelling based on this book so I really want to read that as well as reading this classic version. Let me know, is this one that you've read before? Because I've heard a lot of people really enjoy it and saying it really is quite creepy so I'm looking forward to it. Then we have another book that I do already own and that's Dr Jekyll, Mr Hyde and Other Short Stories by Robert Louis Stevenson and Again, I am not mad that I have another edition of this book. I really enjoyed Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I haven't read any of the other stories in this, so I do need to make that a priority at some point as well. But Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, again, another classic literature book. It is just so good. I really love the conversation it has about the duality of man and looking into the extremities of it. I think it's so well done and again, love any retellings of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and I can't 
I just, I love it and I really do need to read more of Robert Louis Stevenson's work because I enjoyed Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde so much. That is the one we most commonly know but I'm sure there must be other stories in this that are just as good and just as insightful. And then the last one in this collection is again another book I already owned. I have to admit horror classic is a genre that I absolutely adore so it didn't surprise me that I owned most of these but for me it still was worth it to buy it for the ones that I didn't already own and like I said I'm pretty much collecting different editions of classics if I can get hold of them so it was still worth it. And that is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I love this cover of it, I think it's so striking, I love it and of course Frankenstein is another horror classic which has been retold so many times. I really like the story of Frankenstein. Again, I can't help but feel for Frankenstein's monster. He is not, he never got asked made. He didn't get asked to be hated by his maker. Like he got left to learn things on his own and you can't blame him for how he turned out or at least not fully for me. So I love this story. Again, I've read so many retellings of it. I am planning on doing a retellings video because I enjoy retellings so much and I just think this is such a brilliant story. Again, if you haven't read the actual classics of like Frankenstein, Dracula, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, give them a try because they are really, really worth it and it's classic, so they're beautifully written. It's the language they use is just amazing, and the story that they do, I mean, the atmosphere is great. And again, I always feel sorry. I, I love that in a book that you can feel empathy for the villain, even though you know you feel you shouldn't. The fact that the writer still makes it so that you can is just is amazing. So yeah, another one that I'm very happy to have a second edition of. Okay, so those were the main bulk of the classics that I've got and like I said, I did get them for a bargain price. I was so happy with it, but I did get a few more and again, this has been spread out over a few months and most of these ones were all bought Actually, I think all of these ones were bought with book vouchers. The set that I just showed you were the two sets that I actually paid for. The rest of it was Christmas vouchers. And one of them is Matilda by Mary Shelley, and I didn't know that we did these. And these are pocket penguin classics. And this was like a pound. I couldn't believe it. I'm definitely going to be getting more of them. They're all either short stories or poems or something like that from classic authors that we all know of and I'm intrigued. I've never heard of Matilda, I didn't even know Mary Shelley had done another book. This is a story that her father wouldn't allow anyone to publish until a lot later on and the premise of the story is about a father that has untoward feelings and advances towards his daughter so it's gonna be I think a bit of a disturbing read but I'm intrigued to see because I enjoyed Frankenstein so much that I really want to read something else by Mary Shelley and finding this for a pound like I'm definitely gonna collect more they are smaller than a normal size books so if we just compare like they are quite a bit smaller but I'm really loving it I think it's amazing and I've seen a few more that I want to get my hands on and I'm definitely going to be using these for that moment where oh you need to spend an extra two pound to get free delivery okay great I'm going to chuck a couple of these on it and get that free delivery because that's amazing I'm so excited to read these and yeah I just think they're great they're very simple there's nothing fancy about them but I think it's such a great way to especially if you're interested in classics but you're not sure if you're going to like the writing this is a very inexpensive way to do that okay and then as I said I did actually buy turn off the screw already and that's this version now this I love it it is so garish the cover it is this amazing yellow with black sprayed edges and I got this in W. H. Smith's they were doing their celebration of 225 years because when W. H. Smith's first opened up they were doing these pocket editions of books for people as they were traveling on trains and so 225 years later they have done several classics only a few select ones in this edition to commemorate that and I fell in love with it these were on sale as well I think I picked this one up for like three pounds and I did get a couple more which I'll talk about in a minute and I just love it I saw it and I was like okay I have to get it turn of the screws on my to get list anyway so I was like well this worked perfectly because again this is a version of a classic which I have not seen before and outside of WH Smith's you can't get it so I was like okay that's it I'm sold I'm getting it it's a story that I wanted and it's in a new edition like I am sold I loved it so yeah so now I have two editions of turn of the screw and honestly it is so garish 
but it's fantastic. I love it. And as I said, I did get a couple more of those editions and along with that I also got Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre is my absolute favourite classic. I do have a hardback version of Jane Eyre that my partner got me. I did actually have a Penguin classic version of it, but I lent it out to someone while I was doing my A-levels. He was retaking his English A-level, so I let him use that book just for with all my notes in it in case he wanted any extra help but he never actually gave it back to me, which I, I can't really complain about because he was doing exams and stuff, it got busy, I then left college. It's fine, but at the same time it's one of those things like, I really want it back? Anyway, tangent, tangent aside, but I love Jane Eyre and so it's something, again, when I see different editions of it, I'm going to pick it up, it's my favourite classic story and again, I saw this and I just thought it was amazing and this was the last one in the store. The other ones had a couple left of like Turn of the Screw and the next book that I'm going to talk about but this was the only one left for Jane Eyre and I was so excited when I saw it. I was like oh my god yes I have to have it because as I said Jane Eyre is my favourite and having it in this edition which I've never seen before it was just... ah. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. And then the last one that I got in the W. H. Smith 225 Anniversary Edition was Tess de Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy and this is another classic that I was interested in getting so when again I saw it for £3, used up my book voucher to get some of these, I was very happy with it. Again, loving the garishness of this cover. I only don't know what this is about though. I just know that it's a young girl that gets sent to live with her rich relatives, I believe, and the story unravels from there. I've seen a lot of people talk about it, a lot of people do like this story, so Again, I'm very interested to see what this story is about. Like I said, trying to read more classics, that is the whole point of this video as well. Again, let me know if you've read this book, what did you think about it? Do you think it's going to be something I'm going to enjoy? I'm very much looking forward to it either way. So yes, I was very pleased to get hold of this one as well. As I said, I was interested in getting some Sherlock Holmes books, so I did pick up a Study in Scarlet, and this, I believe, is the first Sherlock Holmes book. And I loved this edition of it, I think it's so cool with all the little magnifying glasses on it, absolutely loved it. And again, very interested in reading more Sherlock Holmes, in reading where it all originated from and where it all started from. There's been so many references that I've been reading in books where they're talking about cases that Sherlock Holmes has done and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, now I'm going to know and I am very excited to read this. Again, this is another short classic. I find that classics, you either get really thick, chunky ones or you get tiny weeny ones, which I'm not mad about, to be quite honest, but yeah. Very excited to read this one as well. I think it's a really cute addition. So yeah, need I say more? I think we all know who Sherlock Holmes is, right? Like he is the biggest detective character ever. There's been like films, there's been TV series, there's been retellings of this book. Like there's been so much about Sherlock Holmes. I just don't think he needs an introduction. Then I also got Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. I loved Pride and Prejudice, so then I was like, okay, I need to read more of her books. And then I saw this vintage Austen collection book and I was like, I love the artwork on this. This is so nice. So I was like, okay, that's it. I'm sold. I'm going to get this. And I'll probably get the rest of Jane Austen's books in this edition because I really love the artwork on it. I think it's so simple and yet lovely. I think, yes. It's going to be great. I don't know what this one is about, I won't lie, but I don't really need to because I know that I enjoy her writing already. As I said, I loved Pride and Prejudice, so I'm very excited to see what this one is about. I think this is the one where it's kind of taking the mick out of horror classics, I believe. We're following a main character who's got a really overactive imagination, and so she starts thinking that all of these horror things are happening. I think I could have that wrong and could have it mixed up with a different book, but I think that's what this one is about, which when I heard that premise, I was like, I am so intrigued now as to see why and how this is done. I think it's going to be a really good read. And last but not least, I got Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence. And how could I not pick this up? I think this is like, this was a book that was banned, I believe. Again, I could have that wrong, but just because it's kind of like the classic smut book which I'm just so intrigued by because in classics you don't have that. Like the way they do things, the way they word things is all very subtle and polite and everything and it's kind of alluded to but not explicitly said. So I'm very interested to see, is this really explicit? Because I would be shocked, highly shocked. 
but I don't know, I just know that it's again a classic that's talked about quite a lot, I'm interested to see what it's actually about. I know that it's about Lady Chatterley and she does get a lover because she's not happy with her husband and I know it's talking about that but I just don't know more than that like is it explicit is it not to be fair i won't be mad if it is or isn't like it's not something i'm bothered by it's just i want to see what all the hype around this book is is it really as shocking as it would have been for that time of writing like that always interests me to see what they would have considered very shocking for them for their society compared to our society so i think this is going to be a really interesting one again there's loads of different covers to choose from but i really liked this pale blue i thought it was beautiful and admittedly none of the books in this video actually match with covers apart from the sets that i got because they were in sets and the main reason is because with classics i'm just going for the book cover i love the most first and then if I enjoy that story, then I'm going to get different editions of it. There are so many different editions of classic books that you can get, and I just want to get as many different ones as I can, to be quite honest. Maybe if you're interested, I can do a video where I show you the rest of my classics collection and show you the different covers that I actually have for different books. I don't know, maybe we'll do that a bit later on when I have some more classics, because I do plan on adding to this collection. But yeah, I'm really excited. Do let me know, do you read classics? what has been your favourite classic? Are you like a horror classic person or are you more of like a Jane Eyre, Pride and Prejudice, do you prefer those sort of classics? For me, I find that I have a love for horror classics and then I also have my favourites for like Jane Eyre, it's my favourite classic book, but I also love horror classics. That's a tangent and probably didn't make any sense anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to give it that thumbs up and subscribe my social media links will be linked below and as always i will catch you in the next one